Influx of new students has West Lafayette Community School administrators getting creative. News 18 Samantha Tiki reports what's being done to maintain a good education despite the growth. This year alone, I probably have turned down well over 150 requests just for people wanting to transfer into the school district. Although West Lafayette Community School no longer accepts transfer students, enrollment is still increasing at all three schools. We're doing everything we can to, to maintain those lower class sizes so that our children get a, a great education and more time with their teachers. Enrollment in West Lafayette has grown by about 400 students over the last five years, including 100 this year alone. It has faculty, staff, and students making adjustments. At the elementaries, it's a little bit more problematic, but uh, we find other spaces that we can put our students in. Cumberland Elementary is feeling those growing pains. According to an email from Principal Kim Bowers, a kindergarten classroom was added last week to avoid having more than 23 students to a room. Superintendent Rocky Killian says plans are in the works to add additional classrooms by the spring of 2018. What parents will see and might expect is those class sizes might increase a little bit, uh, but we think we can, uh, we can handle that through one more year. The email also addresses what Bowers calls another crowded school issue. To avoid overcrowding during lunch, parents are no longer allowed to eat with their children. Instead, they're asked to take them home or out to eat. We find creative ways to, to deal with the growth, and we'll continue to do that until we can get these facilities up and running. However, Killian wants to ensure parents any changes are in the best interest of students. Our real focus is ensuring that we have a schedule that's conducive to protecting children, and also that we have uh, the proper educational programs for the size of enrollments that we're, that we're experiencing. Reporting in West Lafayette, Samantha Tiki, News 18. Yeah, we spoke with City of West Lafayette Fire Inspector Jody Eimel to check on the possibility of code violations because of increased enrollment. She says capacity is based on the size and way that his face is being used. Eimel was not able to give the capacity for Cumberland Elementary.